Looks like GameStop is hoarding Switches, PS5s, and Xbox Series X for Black Friday. Well, at least I got Pokemon cards. In that event, guys, we have this brand new Pikachu, oh, upside down, Pikachu and Zekrom GameStop exclusive. Tag Team Collection. Now, the exact Tag Team cards looks to be the same uh, from maybe the Unbroken Bond set. To be honest, I don't really remember. It's been a while since we last opened Unbroken Bonds or any type of set that revolves Sun and Moon. So we're going to have to take a look. It could be a new promo altogether. I don't know. But it does come with 10 booster packs. I will say, though, think about it. 10 booster packs and a jumbo-sized promo. The cost of an Elite Trainer Box normally for GameStop is about $40. And then it's about $50 for Pokemon for the center for the 10 packs. So you're basically getting this, but this son of a bitch was actually 60. Where the fuck did you get off? Yeah, it's charging me an extra $10. It comes with the same stuff. 10 packs, one oversized code, a promo, and a coin. I don't know, let's see if I get my money's worth. If not, I'm gonna lose it. Now I'm sure you've all noticed, I have a backdrop. I, I realized actually when I got it that it wasn't as big as I thought it would be for the camera, so I'm gonna have to get two more and slap them right here so it looks complete. But welcome to the new setup for I4SM Pokemon, guys. I'm Joe Major from I4SM Studios. If you didn't know that, then you're on the wrong channel. But I appreciate you taking the time to come through anyway. We have these brand new Zekrom boxes that I just mentioned before in the intro. I don't know if they're worth it. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't appreciate GameStop charging an extra $10 for something for packs that are $4 each. But we'll see if this promo card is worth it in the end. Oh. Uh, it depends on what the packs we get first are. Looks like we're not even getting Fusion Strike. And today, yeah, is the, uh, today's the release day of Fusion Strike. And what's actually funny about that is that I do have Fusion Strike packs, but you guys have seen Fusion Strike openings all week from the big top Pokemon names. We hope to be there one day. But if we need to do something and be original, here we are. We are doing this brand new Zekrom Tag Team Pikachu promo. This is literally exclusive to GameStop. The only way you can get it. Head to GameStop. Joe, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll let you get back to opening this absolute shitty box. But I just noticed while we're uh, editing and doing all the finishing touches, uh, the code card for this particular card to play on the TCG online game did not come in the box. I don't know what to say. I checked everywhere. I checked everything. I checked the recording. I checked everything. It did not include the promised TCG code card that came in the box. So just another reason for me to tell you, don't buy this piece of shit. GameStop.com or find at your local GameStop store. Ooh. All right. Let's see. This beautiful, beautiful jumbo. I will say the centering is off. Uh, of course, on these jumbo cards, the cut is actually the back actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to bullshit you on that one. This is nice. This is nice. What does it say? Oh, no. Yeah, it says Sun and Moon. I was right. I was right. Sun and Moon promo. Kiss my ass. That's funny. All right. Where is the actual card? Now, a lot of these people have been complaining that these clamps are getting cards jammed. Mine seems to be actually pretty well. Hey, what the hell? I thought I straightened you out, cards. There we go. Anyway. All right. Let's get this focused. If the camera goes in and out, it's because of the lighting. Guys, I got to get a new, uh, you know, one of those circle lights. I'm, I'm trying to do everything to upgrade. Um, but yeah, this is this beautiful, honestly, it's flawless. Oh, um, uh, I got none. Yeah, no complaints. No complaints. I'm going to slap this in a sleeve. We have no idea if this is going to be worth something. Don't count on it being worth anything just yet. Just wait a few weeks. Seeing how many GameStop seems like they printed out a shit ton of these. Part of my French, s'il vous plaît. But what do we got? It looks like we just got the newest expansions. We got Chilling Rain. We got Battle Styles and Evolving Skies. That's not a bad way to go. For people that can't get cards, I tell you what, but we are overpaying, guys. I want you to be aware of this, but let's see if it's worth... Ugh. Now, what are we starting off with? Of course, we're going to start off with Battle Styles. We got these uh, packs of... I think it was five packs of Chilling Rain. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Battle Styles. Now, we've already pulled the Tyranitar card. Can we get away with any other full arts? I have no idea. Let me show you the code card so you guys can steal that. I know you don't like paying for stuff yourself. That's why you go ahead and take all these codes. And you know what the funny thing is about these codes? We actually check them at the end of the videos to see who didn't redeem them and to see how often people go ahead and actually uh, redeem them for what packs. And uh, that way, we can give the code cards out to other people. Yeah, Victory Bell, not holographic. I got nothing to really say about that. It's it's Victory Bell. Uh, he's a dope Pokemon. I love him. Mankey, I might use that reverse rare. Where is my Battle Styles? Uh, I have a pile right here of Battle Styles cards. There we go. You're going right there. So far, we're 0-1. You know I me, mean? I don't like doing the card trick. All it does is prolong videos. Like, trust me, do you really need to see every single card just to get to a basic rare? I mean, we got Onyx, we got Cherubi. Uh, if we start backwards, we got uh, Carl, we got XP Share. We got the Rapid Strike Energy that came in every single goddamn box. Oh no, it's an energy. 
And then an Electivire, a uh, non-holographic. To be honest, I might not have it either. I'd have to check the entire Battle Styles set. Well, that was a waste of time, uh, as normal Battle Styles always is. The I, honest to God, might just get a booster box of Battle Styles because they're only going for like $99 and literally just see what the hell happens. Of course, we're going to open up Evolving Skies last, but this is uh, this is nice. Uh, five Chilling Rain Packs. So really, you don't see many Chilling Rain cards. Actually, they give you... I don't know if that was on purpose or not. They gave you one of each uh, pack art. It's pretty cool. What is the most expensive card going out of Chilling Rain? Is it like the Moltres or is it the uh, is it an Umbreon or something? I don't know. These we might actually uh, take a time to actually open it. Let's see. Cat Swarm. You guys know me. I like to cut all the BS out of the Pokemon openings and just get straight to the point. Another Cast Form. Another Cast Form. And another Holographic Gengar. This thing is so common. Jesus, it's so common. What do we got? Crap. I do have my Chilling Rain binder, actually. Uh, it's somewhere under me. Is it? Yeah, no, it's under me. So, all the Chilling Rain cards. Uh, I had a pile as to what actually happened to it. I'm currently sorting out my Evolving Skies Master Set, which isn't much, I'll be honest. Haven't really got a chance to open uh, many, but at least we got three packs to kick it out later. So, for ten packs, I think they actually gave you a good amount. I know they threw Battle Styles in there just because they have to get rid of it. It's kind of like that Evolution situation that actually happened uh, many years ago. Um, where they literally couldn't get rid of Evolution cards to save their life. And now everybody went back in the resurgence of Pokemon because of Logan Paul and whoever the hell else. Um, we have been collecting Pokemon. I just want to go out and point that out. We've been collecting Pokemon cards and selling Pokemon cards. Not really selling, but trading Pokemon cards for years. Long before this thing happened. The, the resurgence and the pandemic happened. Uh, yeah, so no. Uh, we collected more or less in the shadows. Uh, and I have the... Vintage cards to prove it, you know? <laughs> Trust me, I, I would not pay the amount of packs and prices for cards nowadays. Like that Ancient Origins box that's going for $700, I bought one for $40. Why the hell would I need one for $700 of a set that only has a card that's worth $90 in the uh, in total expansion? Anyway, Chilling Rain, Scobit, Shfeel, Swirlix. Uh, got, okay, this box sucks so far. This box really, really sucks so far. Oh my god. Now, odds are, it might have just been the packs that I got within the box. There's no guarantee in Pokemon. Even if you try and weigh packs, do it for the vintage. I'm not, I don't condone it. I really don't. Because I've weighed a pack myself, and I said, oh, this looks good. I opened it, and it was nothing. So, <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Go ahead and steal that. All right, Hatena, Aaron, just like GameStop stealing my money right here for these common cards. Uh, Bounce Suite, Cabramidol, Abomas. Oh, God damn it, really? This is, this is horrible. Was this the, the, was this the fourth Chilling Rain pack? Jesus. There's nothing even to show for it. There's nothing to show for it. I swear, it might just be my luck with this, but there is nothing out of this that was... Oh, my God. Unless we come away with something really good, but for $60... And a regular V card. That's the Santa Con of V. That's it. I can't. Um. Ah. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. But guys, if you want a chance to win these cool exclusive Charizard coin and Sylveon, uh, Sylveon pens, there we go. Leave a comment down below of what you think of this box and give me your honest opinion. And maybe I'll just mail these to you. All right, let's see. Evolving Skies, we just wasted all that time on that. Chilling Rain and Battle Styles, we came away with absolutely nothing. This box sucks. I don't recommend it so far. Uh, Lillipup, Feebas, Gloss, Woobat, Vigoroth. Oh, okay, we at least, you know what? It's something. It's not what I wanted, but it's something. Dragazolt VMAX, I have no idea what it's worth. It's going to pop up at the bottom. It goes straight into the master set, guys. That's it. I don't have the card. Uh, Treasure Energy, another energy, got a Lantern, Fletchling, and a code card for Evolving Skies. Honestly, I swear to God, we should have just changed this company name to Honest Pokemon Openings. But. Duraludon. Alright, code card, go ahead. You guys know what to do with that. Nick it. Priagonal. Teddy Ursa. Litleo. Sableye. Uh, this is a Dialga Holographic Single Strike. Uh, believe it or not, I probably don't have this either. So, as far as the Evolving Skies packs, they ain't, they ain't bad, but I really definitely will not be buying this box again. That's not even a, 
It's not even a hesitation. Damn, we are on the last pack of this entire $60. I This is not $60 worth so far. Yeah, for the packs it is. I get, you know, you're getting 10 packs. I get it, but for $50, I wouldn't be as mad because it might have been, you know, just the luck of the draw. But as far as the last pack goes for this thing. All right, Psyduck, Rog and Rolla, Flabba Bay, Drowsy, Face Full, and a Lily Gant. This box sucks. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I got nothing more to say about that, guys. This was an absolute, uh, this sucks. This actually, this box actually sucked. The actual card, the best thing was the card that came with it. So if you want a chance to probably just go ahead and get it on eBay or get the chance to just go to, just do that because the Battle Styles is ass. Uh, Evolving Skies, I'm going to shoot you guys, was probably, is, was the best out of the day. And Chilling Rain, five packs and we got absolutely nothing. Not a, uh, full art, not a, uh, secret rare, not a thing. Not a thing, guys. But let me know what you think of the comments in the comments down below with these particular packs. Wow. I guess we're just going to have to go big for uh, Fusion Strike coming up soon. Yeah, I wanted to do Fusion Strike as well, but, you know, there was something uh, something telling me it was to wait. Wait till we got a little bit more so we can do something. Maybe during the 25 days of polls. But, guys, I've been Joe from i407. If you like what you saw in today's video, if you like the comedy aspect of it, if you like the shitty polls, leave a like on the video. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. We can't do that without your help. I love you guys. Thank you for taking the time to join us, and I will see you tomorrow.